Hello and welcome to the Safari Lee tutorials. In these movies we're going to take you on a guided tour of the Safari Lee hardware and also the accompanying software Safari Control LE so that you can learn a bit more about the interface. So let's begin with getting connected. <coughs> Safari Lee comes with a standard firewire cable and has two firewire ports on the rear panel. All that's required is to connect Safari Lee to your computer using the supplied cable and either one of its two firewire ports. Providing your computer has identical 6-pin firewire ports, then you can use the supplied cable and power will also be supplied over firewire. If however your computer only has smaller 4-pin firewire ports, then you'll also need to attach the supplied external DC power supply unit to this socket here. Uh, the reason there are two firewire ports is if you've got any other external firewire gear, like perhaps an external hard drive, then you can connect that to the free port of Safari, Safari Lee and it'll act as if it's connected to an additional firewire port on your computer. Um, as Safari Lee is a core audio device for Mac, no further setup is required and Safari Lee will now appear as an interface within your sequencer and can be set up. So in Ableton here, I select Preferences and then the Audio tab and then I select Safari Lee as the output audio device and also the input audio device and then I can configure my inputs by activating them any of the mono ones or the stereo ones over here and now all I have to do to record audio is select some of the inputs, any one of the inputs, mono or stereo on a particular track and simply put it into record but first of course I need to connect something to one of the Safari Lee's six inputs <coughs> 